Welcome everyone, my name is Danny, this is TechRage, and today I'm going to be having a look at Linux Mint 18.1 KDE Edition. Now, the reason why I wanted to even touch upon this distribution is, well for one, 18.1 um, recently came out for Linux Mint, so uh, and I've always been a big fan of Linux Mint, especially recently, because I had uh, created a partition of uh, the Cinnamon version for 18.1, and I have to say, wow, I forgot how good Linux Mint was, and it really is something that just works, and works really well. Um, but yeah, so, and another thing too is that KDE has been an environment that I've always found to be appealing. Um, I found it to be very refreshing when it comes to the Linux environment because um, it's different in the way that it looks and I just love the features that it brings in because they're very extensive in what it what they provide and just refreshing overall. It really is refreshing and I can't really say that there's any other environment like it. Um, although they will, you know, bring in one or two similar features, uh, just the, the way that it has things set up. I tend to like it, and my overall um, experience with it, it's pretty good. Now, I say pretty good and not great or excellent because I have come across a recent issue where um, I was on Firefox, and for some reason, sorry, sorry guys, one second. Okay, yeah, for some reason, uh, it started flickering away. Uh, it's when I had my Firefox browser open and then the widget the widget panel over here open uh, here yeah it, for some reason it started flickering when I had it open but uh, I've gone through a few updates since I've even saw the Intel microcode which is the proprietary code for the CPU and I have to say now I've come across no issue whatsoever no no bugginess, no lag, nothing. And it just works. It's working so far though. <laughs> you know, uh, because in the past I've um, I've had a pretty bad experience when it comes to KDE. I've had Kubuntu, I have KDE Neon, and it just wasn't that good of an experience. I, you know, Windows would crash. Um, it just was something that I couldn't stay with. It really wasn't. Uh, but yeah, I decided to give it a try. See Linux Mint's implementation of it. And I have to say, I freaking like it. I freaking love it, actually. It's really good. So, to first start off, guys, um, over here, oh, let me just make sure. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, there are three minutes. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'm running KDE 5.8.5, so I am not running the bleeding edge version of KDE, but I do believe this is the LTS version, also known as the long term support version of the environment. So, um, you know, all the necessary updates will be done in terms of patches and, all, and bugs and all that. So, I'm cool with that. You know, it's not like there's any key feature that I want to try in 5.9, really. I'm just really enjoying this overall experience of 5.8. To be honest with you, uh, I am running a Core i7 6700K, and I have a GTX 1070. Uh, so, what, where, what better place to start off this video than by starting with my initial installment? And so far, it was smooth, no crashes, nothing of the sort. Um, but uh, after I, inst after uh, yeah, I installed it and I did a, my first reboot. Uh, it did install the Nuvo drivers, I believe, and yeah, it was the Nuvo drivers, and thankfully it was compatible with my my um, graphics card, but the resolution wasn't there. It really wasn't. So I installed the NVIDIA 367 drivers, which I always do with with every distro that I do. Um, I always install those drivers, and uh, yeah, it worked just fine. No issues there. Because you know there are some distributions that do come come to issue when it comes to graphics graphic drivers, uh, especially when it comes to AMD graphic drivers. But for Nvidia, it's more well supported, and uh, I just assumed that you know I'd come to an issue where it just wouldn't be working out the box. I'd probably have to do you know no mode set and then do it manually installing the drivers. And uh, thankfully, I didn't have to do that. 
uh, it was just a reboot after the and the nvidia drivers were completely compatible and it was just working so that's good that was a great experience and i've even installed the like i said the intel microcode um just to see if um you know that would help that buggy issue that i had with my firefox browser and i don't know if it fixed it or not but i also did um, go through a few other updates on the system so uh yeah it's working fine so i don't know if that was that was helping it or not but anyways yeah it's working just fine and i'm really glad about that that's really cool so let me close this and sorry guys if i go on a tangent i'm just kind of on a rush right now um yeah i had a, like two cups of coffee it's like 2 15 in the morning and um just doing some work on the side too so sorry if you hear me blabber and go off on a tangent so uh one thing i really really enjoy about this distribution and when it comes for a distribution to new users this distribution brings really good settings and really good options when it comes to theming and just options you know all throughout the desktop so uh, you have options from theming your cursor so you can theme your cursor um, you can install other themes for the cursor by, by just clicking here get new theme and now you have a wide range of cursors but not only that I just enjoy the fact that it organizes them in different ways you see you also have different animations upon loading uh, you have a rating system you have most downloaded ratings and um, yeah I just really like the fact that they have that if I click details I can view the description what they include in the description as well as the thumbnails and this looks like it's a yeah, like a cursor animation so depending on what window you're on it'll show different icons which is pretty neat and um, yeah it does that for many other theming options so for mouse cursor you have this option here desktop theme which is the general UI theme here you have the ones that are already pre-installed uh, a few of these I did install myself so silver and K10 were two that I installed myself I believe I installed another one I just don't remember right now but uh, yeah if you want to install any other one you don't have to depend on a third-party PPA or a dev file because all I have to do is click here and there you go actually let me let me uh, <laughs> take that back what I said about PPAs um, because I did come across an instance recently where whenever I when I when I clicked on a particular type of theme it actually brought me to their page on the KDE icon themes website and uh, it asked me to install the PPA and it didn't have it available here within its repositories but that's fine because that that only happened to me once and that was like a rare case I've installed a bunch of other themes since uh, although I have installed a few since then too and um, yeah that only happened to me once but even then installing PPAs isn't difficult it's just three commands and uh, yeah it takes two minutes you know out of your time it's really nothing but I just love the fact that it has all these themes and a wide range of themes too that you can choose from so this right here is definitely something refreshing I love how they just have the thumbnails here just the way everything is laid out it's pretty awesome and um, yeah like I said you know new users can benefit from this um, you know first impressions always matter and the impression I get from this distribution is awesome <laughs> it really is you know especially for new users who want to start tinkering with theming you definitely have it here you have a wide range of options to choose from uh, you can even search here uh, oh and also there is a icon theming system so if I click here uh, icon themes and you can search all these up just type in themes in your search menu themes there you go desktop theme cursor theme icon themes and uh, yeah you see I have a few of these that were already preloaded I did install a few myself and yeah same exact process if you want to install other themes too for icons all I have to do is click get new theme and there you go they start loading right away <coughs> and uh, yeah you get the same exact options that you, like you did in the other two 
applications and I really just like how they do this it works pretty good I did come across an instance where it actually didn't load the options when it came to themes but after a reboot it started working just fine now uh, that was a minor thing it only happened to me once and that's it so I didn't really consider it to be a bug I just thought that it was something on my part I forget exactly what I was doing at the same time too but uh, anyways it really wasn't a major thing it started working just fine uh, oh, and another thing too, especially for new users, you know, who are coming from like a Windows 10, Windows 7 environment, and they were utilizing widgets. Well, widgets is another thing that they've implemented into the KDE desktop, and it can, it's actually pretty useful. So if you just right click on your mouse, click add widgets, now you get a wide variety of widgets to just drag on your desktop. So clock here, I can just drag place there you go uh, tr 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 Bluetooth I have a calculator here I can just drag and place there uh, tr 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 I also have a sticky notes yeah right here notes right so and just a wide range of things which I thought was pretty cool uh, KDE connect Show notifications from your device using KDE Connect. I believe this is from um, only for the devices that are using the KDE ROM, which I believe is only the Nexus 5 and then the OnePlus One that's currently compatible with this ROM. I know because I tried uh, using it a couple of months back, but I'm on the OnePlus 3, so eh. and my OnePlus One is broken. So uh, yeah. So, but anyways. Um, yeah, and one thing I really like about this too is that uh, you get options. It's not just a simple sticky note. If you want to actually, you know, edit it, you can. Um, go over here. It's kind of fainted. I think they should really deal with this. It's kind of like a color contrast issue. I'm not really sure if it has to do with the theme or not, but it doesn't really show too much until you hover over it. Anywho, you click on this, you see you get other settings when it comes to just your notes, bold, italicize, underline. And if you click here, you get note settings. Now it may pe appear a bit different. Oh, you also get it yeah, here too. That's what I meant to click. Yeah, it may appear a bit different depending on what theme you're running. But anyways, yeah, you see you can just change into different colors. Apply. Apply. There you go. Okay, and then just start tapping away. Hello. <laughs> you got your calculator here, you click it, start tapping away. Nine, I'm, and I'm on my number pad too. And it just works with it. So nine plus nine, 18, cool. And then you also have your clock. And I like how you hover over it and it gives you a text version of the date you can click on it you pull up the calendar here and uh, yeah it's just settings that you can mess around with here uh, oh also analog settings yeah you see you can change show seconds the rest of that uh, there is another theming I just can't seem to remember right now but it does end up affecting specifically uh, the widgets I just don't remember Okay, yeah, widget style and behavior, I believe it was. No. Widget style. Mm -mm. Is it? I don't remember what it was right now. Oh, okay, yeah, I think this is it, yeah. So, widget style, if I click here, I can choose the JDK style. Click apply. I had, I had no effect. Maybe oxygen. I don't remember what it was, but whatever. Anyways, yeah, just I just wanted to show you that you have a bunch of options to tinker around with. And um, if you're a person that likes to tinker around with your system when it comes to styling, then there you go, you have that right there and really cool. I'm just, I'm a big theming person, so I just like the fact that I have options. That's just me, I'm geeking out of the idea of that. Because for me, I like eye candy. So yeah, um, what else? Oh, let me see how much time I'm on. 14 minutes. That's actually not bad for me. 
That's actually a world record if I can keep it under 20. Uh, what else? Yes, it does integrate the Dolphin File Manager. Now, many people can say that this is their, their favorite file manager when it comes to Linux because there are, and just like this desktop, options. There are a lot of settings that you can mess around with. And uh, yeah, there are many to choose from right now. Uh, I messed around with this too much and I ended up losing my side panel over here. I'm not really sure how to, <laughs> how to bring it back, but uh, I'll learn it later. You know, there's so many settings you can play around with. And honestly, I don't plan on leaving this distribution so soon. Um, I'm really liking my experience with it. So I'm just going to learn Dolphin. Um, and it's not like I have anything against it either. So I'm, I'm all for learning it. And, uh, yeah, so, whatever, don't feel bad for me, I'll get it eventually, but, um, yeah, so you got Dolphin Manager here, uh, what else, and yeah, just the built-in, all well, the pre-built-in apps, it's all the very basic apps you'll get, you'll get LibreOffice, browsers, you get Firefox, you know, and everything else, and, uh, um, games, you don't get these, these were installed myself, Chrome apps you don't get, but all this other stuff I installed myself. But yeah, you get all the essentials that you'll need, multimedia, all the very basics when it comes to a, a operating system. And if you want to install applications, you can just click here, install new applications, type in your password, and voila. There you go. Now you have the App Store. And it's not a and it's not like a just a little app store. You you see here they actually have quite a few packages. Um, yeah, so you can go through as many as you want. Games here, you have many games that you can download here straight through the app store. And uh, yeah, that's just something I figured I'd mention, you know. And yeah, so you got your apps there, for, you know. And so definitely. Um, a new Linux user would benefit from that and now they can install their applications a lot more easier and uh, yeah yeah you know I I really enjoy this experience overall I think it's really neat and uh, I if I were to give it a 1 out of 10 I'd say it'd be a 8.5 an 8.5 um, you know, also because I'm still, I still have um, a bit of um, a concern, you know, if a new other user were, were to use it, and uh, there might be a chance, too, that they might come across a bug. There's always that chance, you know, but um, for me, you know, I'm not running just a simple um, system. I'm, you know, I'm not depending only on internal, gra I'm not depending on internal graphics, you know, I'm using a graphics card and a 1070 and it works you know I just love the fact that the compatibility is there the functionality is pretty much there uh, definitely no slowness when it comes to it and it's just really cool oh another thing too which I forgot to mention I, I thought I mentioned it in this video but I didn't this is like my fifth retake um, it's the instant messenger now one thing I like uh, one thing I really like about this it's that you can hook up any account so if I right click here I'm going to uh, it's instant messaging settings no not that. right click here uh, right, this is the same thing okay I guess I can use that then yeah so you see you can hook up all these accounts that you have regarding your social media accounts aim Google this also includes Google Hangouts, Google Docs, uh, Google Plus, YouTube, all that other stuff. You can contact people through here. Uh, Jabber, um, Telegram, KDE Talk, all these other applications. You can talk straight through here on your panel. Now, that is freaking awesome. Uh, if you have a contact list on your Google account, you'll see a bunch of contacts listed here. But... Uh, um, I don't have my contacts here on this email, but I did hook up my other email earlier and all my contacts were showed here and that's just so convenient. It really is convenient. It's just there. 
Uh, you mean, you know, let me just do it for the ticket demonstration. Uh, it doesn't show up here because I don't have it as a contact, but if I were to look him up, the Farron OS developer, see if I were to click on him just for some demonstration for the video. Now you see I have this pop up window. Now I can just start typing away, send it to him, and bam. You see, and it's not going to just open up into, you know, the website. No, it's it's actually a chat, a chat box and everything. It, I just think that's really awesome that they include that into the panel. It's refreshing, you know, it's really cool. And I just love the fact that they have that there. So big props to KDE developers. You guys are doing a really awesome job. And uh, oh, one last thing, too. I just love the panel here. You go to panel settings. I just love how customizable it is. You can change this thing all around height you can just go hover over it bring it up and down um, you can add widgets spacers you know to space out things uh, yeah even more settings you can center it left right you know just do all these other things let me center it. let's see how things change here mm -mm -mm. okay okay well whatever I'll change mess with that later but yeah i i just like how they include that there and um yeah you know this is a really cool environment uh really cool distribution linux mint 18.1 kde edition now i'm not saying it is a hundred percent fully compatible fully easy and just completely seamless experience uh i did come across an issue and then a minor issue but uh, I honestly give this a big thumbs up. It's a really cool distro. New users, you guys will definitely like this. And um, yeah, that's it, guys. So let's see what time I'm at right now. 22 minutes. Damn it, I just, I almost made it. If I, if I would have hit 19 minutes, that would have been a goal. That would have been a record for the year. And I would have been happy with that, but whatever. <laughs> Anyways, guys, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Um, regarding the environment, regarding other, you know, my other experience with it, uh, other experiences with it, um, and whatever, whatever question it may be, just leave it down below. I'll be sure to answer it. This was Linux Mint 18.1 KDE Edition. My name is Danny, and this is TechRage. See you guys in the next video.